Ready or not, cut down day is almost here. Hi again, everyone. I'm James Erpine with allbengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk. And the Bengals have until Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern time to cut their roster down from 80 players to just 53, which means some easy decisions, some tough decisions, and certainly not the fun part of Zach Taylor, Duke Tobin, and the Bengals' job over the next couple of days. But let's take a look here at essentially the guys that are on the bubble plus the guys we know are going to make it, right? Because we know Joe Burrow is going to make it. We know Brandon Allen is going to make it. Kyle Shermer, well, he's not. And, and so, you know, while he's a practice squad candidate, let's go through it here and see, you know, the, the dilemmas, the good, the bad uh, of, of where these guys are going to land. The, here's the thing. Here's the one thing I want to mention at the top. A guy like Akeem Adeniji is going to make my 53-man roster. The reason he's going to make my 53-man roster is because I think there's a chance he plays later this year, even though he's injured now. And he's got to be on that 53-man roster before they place him on injured reserve if he's going to play this season. So he's going to make the roster, spoiler alert, but he's not going to stick, which means someone else that you think needs to make the roster, well, they might not make it initially on this projection. Let's start with the quarterbacks. Obviously, Joe Burrow going to make it. Brandon Allen going to make it. No dilemma there. Kyle Shermer, practice squad candidate. I actually think he does make the practice squad, so we'll see if that happens. Let's go to running back where I don't think it's as big of a dilemma, one through three. The question is, is how many do you take? You know, do you keep four? Or are you sticking with three? Because if it's three, I think it's pretty obvious. It's Joe Mixon, Samaj P. Ryan, and Chris Evans in that order. And then after that, you could keep Jacquez Patrick. Could. I'm not going to. And it's nothing against Patrick. He's had a tremendous preseason. I've talked with Patrick. I think he's a good player, an NFL caliber running back. But where's the path for him to get on the field? Right? Is it special teams? Okay, I haven't seen that yet. And I know P. Ryan and Evans are willing to play and going to play special teams. You know, it, to me, Joe Mixon is an all around back. Samaj P. Ryan is your bruising back, and Chris Evans is your second pass catching back. So I don't think that's it either. So there's a dilemma there. And I'm not sure exactly how the Bengals are going to attack it. To me, I say it's three, and maybe you try to sneak. Patrick on the practice squad from one dilemma to another. Let's look at the wide receivers where Tyler Boyd lock T Higgins lock Jamar chase lock Auden Tate lock. I think Mike Thomas, despite some people saying otherwise lock. And then who's that sixth receiver. Do they keep a seventh? I say it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that sixth guy's Trent Norwin. It is. I, I like his game, man. I think he's made a ton of plays throughout camp, seen it time and time again. And it's translated into the games during the preseason. Trent Taylor, I like him a lot. And I think he could be a guy that potentially gets brought back in place of Adenogy, right, where they end up keeping seven receivers. But he's not your starting punt returner. He's probably your backup slot receiver if he makes the team. But you got guys that you feel comfortable with. And Mike Thomas, you got a guy you feel comfortable with. And Trent Nerwin. I don't know. I just think he has the edge. Something tells me he has the edge right now over Trent Taylor. Another uh, another guy, by the way, that could make it, Stanley Morgan Jr. I should have mentioned him at the top. I think he's the best special teamer of the group. Unfortunately, I don't think he flashed enough as a receiver to beat out a guy like Irwin or even someone like Taylor. At tight end, another dilemma. CJ Uzama, Drew Sample, Locks. Who won the battle between Mason Shrek, Mitch Wilcox, Thaddeus Moss, I asked Joe Burrow about it on Sunday. He seems to think Moss is going to be a, a big part of the Bengals' offense. I think he is uh, going to make the roster, and that's my third tight end. I think Thaddeus Moss is a solid pass catcher, a guy who's going to work extremely hard, like Burrow said, and is going to be consistent. Now, does he need to work on special teams some? Absolutely. Is he the best blocker in the world? He's not. And that's why I think one of these other guys, whether it's Mitch Wilcox Mason Shrek, one of those guys is going to make the practice squad, but I think Thaddeus Moss is tight end number three for the Bengals. And last position on offense, and this is the one that gets really interesting to say the least, is offensive line. Because I have the Bengals keeping 11 offensive linemen. Jonah Williams, Trey Hopkins, Quentin Spain, Riley Reef, 
Xavier Suafilo, and then the rookies, Deontay Smith, Jackson Carmen. I have Billy Price making it. I have Fred Johnson making it. So that's 10. And then you got a guy in Akeem Adeniju who I mentioned at the top. I think he makes it because he tore his pec, which we've seen, right? And usually it's a season ender when it happens in camp. It was months ago now. I think there's a chance he's back in late October, early November and can help them. And you want to leave that door open if you're the Bengals. So we'll see. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just place a energy on the injured reserve. They could have already done it, though. And they haven't. And I think that that's going to mean carrying 11 linemen, Williams, Spain, Hopkins, Jordan, Reef, Adenogy, Smith, Price, Carmen, Suofilo, and Johnson. And who knows, right? Maybe they try to move one of these guys. Maybe they try to trade for an offensive lineman of their own. But uh, certainly something to monitor because 11, 11 is a lot. And so you got 11 offensive linemen, three tight ends, six receivers. So your roster is already at 20. You had the quarterbacks and running backs. That's 25 on offense. On defense, look, it's tough. Joseph Osai, what do you do with him? I have them putting him on injured reserve and ending his season. It just feels like that's the way it's trending. They have to do it before they make their final cuts again. So uh, that would be before Tuesday at 4 p.m. The defensive ends I have making it, Sam Hubbard, Trey Hendrickson, Cam Sample, Khalid Kareem, Darius Hodge. With one note, one asterisk, if you want to call it that, I don't know what happened with Khalid Kareem on Sunday. It looked like he got injured. Zach Taylor didn't give us much information. He had that sack. He had that pass deflection on the first drive, and we didn't see him again. And he missed the first two weeks of the preseason, comes in for a series, and that's that. Uh, it's a little concerning, so we'll see. But uh, if he's healthy, I think Khalid Kareem is a lock to make this roster. A defensive tackle, I think it's DJ Reader, Larry Ogunjobi, Tyler Shelvin, Josh Tupo, Mike Daniels. Pretty easy decisions there. And uh, really, Shelvin probably on the outside looking in from a depth chart standpoint. I think in order, it's probably Reader and Ogunjobi, your starters, Tupo and Daniels, the backups, and Shelvin uh, at that fifth spot. And uh yeah, as far as linebacker goes, this might be the biggest question mark on the roster, but there aren't many question marks as far as making the roster. I think it's pretty clear. Logan Wilson, Akeem Davis-Gaither, Jermaine Pratt, Jordan Evans, Marcus Bailey. There you go. Cornerback, this is an interesting one. It is, because I, I have Jalen Davis making the team. Chidobe Awuzie, Mike Hilton, Darius Phillips all making the team. Eli Apple making the team. Trey Waynes. How serious is this hamstring injury? If it's a three-week type thing, like three weeks into the season, where it's going to keep him out a month, like if he's going to be at a, out a month from today, then he's an injured reserve type guy. He's a candidate for that because what you could do is you could place him on IR, bring him back when he's ready to go, and then you free up that roster spot so it's not as painful to carry him on the 53. Now, he's got to be on the initial 53 like Adenogy or anybody else. But that could be another path for them to, to clear a spot and bring back a Patrick or bring back a, an Irwin or bring back a Taylor. Uh, obviously, I have Irwin making the team, but you get my point. Safety, it's cut and dry. Jesse Bates, Von Bell, Ricardo Allen, Brandon Wilson, easy enough there. Kevin Huber, Clark Harris at punter and long snapper, respectively. And Money Mick, Evan McPherson, obviously the kicker. Uh, of the Bengals. He's look, he's dominated a 57 yarder. We talked about it on Sunday at Paul Brown stadium. Just awesome. 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 So who are the practice squad candidates? Well, Jacquez Patrick nearly at the top of the list for me, Stanley Morgan, Jr. Austin cyber Trenton Irwin. If he gets cut, if not a Trenton Taylor or a Trent Taylor, excuse me, either one of those guys, Noah Spence, by the way, at defensive end, I think he could, I think there's a chance he ends up on the 53-man roster week one, depending on what happens with Khalid Kareem and stuff. But he's certainly someone that could be a practice squad candidate as he gets familiar with the system. And that's certainly something that I think they could sell him on since he's only been in town for just over a week. Kyle Shermer, another practice squad candidate. Isaiah Prince, I think he uh, performed well this preseason overall. And you need a tackle like that on your practice squad. I think that's where they'll try to stash him. Trey Hill, same thing, the sixth rounder uh, out of Georgia. We'll see. He strained his groin on Sunday. We'll see how serious that is. Maybe he's a guy that uh, you can do exactly what, you know, release him and then put, put him on uh, one of these injured lists, so to speak, and, and go from there. Joe Bechi, 
uh, practice squad candidate. Puka Williams, haven't seen much of him in preseason. I think the Bengals like him. Punter Drew Chrisman, Winston Rose, Mitch Wilcox, Mason Shrek. So that's kind of how I see this roster playing out. But 10 minutes into the video, I got to tell you right now, I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to get something wrong, and we're all going to get something wrong because the Bengals are scouting the 31 other teams. And there are going to be guys that are cut or on the trade block that the Bengals are interested in and could make a move for. So where are the Bengals deep? Running back, wide receiver, you know, maybe they try to move one of those guys, kicker. Maybe they try to move Austin Seibert, and I would try to move those guys, whether it's for a pick, if you're cutting them anyway, or if it's for, you know, a player for player type swap where you get a defensive end that you like, you know, maybe a team has a, a plethora of defensive ends, which a lot of teams are going to have, or a, an offensive lineman that could end up sliding in and being a, a solid backup from the jump. So plenty of moves are going to be made. Here's what I know. We're going to have you covered every step of the way. So tell all of your friends about Cincinnati Bengals talk. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Post on Reddit. Post on social media. Let everybody know that uh, Cincinnati Bengals talk is here to stay. Also check out allbengals.com for the latest news during cutdown week and the Locked on Bengals podcast, the only daily Bengals podcast. So a lot of fun is about to take place. It's uh, going to be wild the next few days. We'll have you covered every step of the way. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm James Rapine, and I'll talk to you soon.